it's taken everything. Yeah, and not just from me. You can never underestimate how much it takes from your family, from my husband. When he married me, this isn't what he signed up for either. So it didn't just steal from me, it's, it's stolen from him too. And you have no idea how guilty I feel about that. Sometimes. Sorry, I didn't know where that comes from. Jo Bruce, who lives in Edinburgh, was diagnosed with ME in her late 30s. There's reminders everywhere, in every room of the house, about being disabled at a young age. So I didn't expect to have to research things like um, you know, ubiquinol, which I wouldn't even have known how to say that a few years ago. And another reminder in the bathroom, I wasn't expecting to need a stool, shower stool, at the age of 50 either. As Jo's world got smaller and smaller because of ME, she found herself fighting to be believed. It's exhausting. It's exhausting that every time you go into the doctor's surgery, you know that you're talking to somebody who thinks that your illness is psychosomatic. I was misdiagnosed as having depression. I was misdiagnosed as having labyrinthitis. Um, I, I, there was kind of the subtle undertone that I was a bit of a malingerer, looking for an easy way out. Um, but nobody would choose this life. Jo has volunteered to take part in the largest genetic study of ME in the world. 25,000 DNA samples are being analysed by scientists. The study is UK-wide and long overdue, according to the professor who's leading it. ME research in genetics is 20 years behind the times. It's way behind all these other diseases like multiple sclerosis, diabetes, neurodegenerative conditions. It's way behind. And there must be societal reasons for this. Why is it that we haven't been able to fund projects on uh, a disease that is so female biased? Why is it that we, we have not been able to pour our resources into this awful, awful disease when it costs the country billions of pounds a year? and yet only two or three pounds per person is given for research. This is a, a problem that isn't to do with fatigue of individuals. This is a problem to do with compassion fatigue in the United Kingdom.